so excited. I just had a book arrival and it's a book that I bought for us you know, because it's springtime and we know that all those little creatures, the worms, the ants, the bees, everything's coming out. Everything's starting to join the world. It's called, Hey Little Ant. And it's very cool. It's the story of two characters. One, an ant, and one is a little boy. So let's take a look at it. Hey Little Ant is written by Philip and Hannah Moose, and it's illustrated by Deb Tilly. Hey, little ant. And here is the ant, and here's the boy. Kid, hey, little ant down the crack. Can you hear me? Can you talk back? See my shoe? Can you see that? Well, now it's gonna squish you flat. What? Uh-oh. Ant. Please, oh please, do not squish me. Change your mind and let me be. I'm on my way with a crumb of pie. Please, oh please, do make me die. And there he is walking around with his little crumb of pie. Kid, anyone knows that ants can't feel. You're so tiny, you don't look real. I'm so big and you're so small, I don't think it'll hurt at all. Notice how they made this picture look so tall, because the boy is so big. And look at the teeny tiny ant. Hmm. Let's now see what has, he has to say. Ant, but you are a giant and giants can't know how it feels to be an ant. Come down close. I think you'll see that you are very much like me. Hmm. So now the boy's gonna decide, I think I will get a little bit curious. He's looking at him, hmm, very close up. Next. Kid, are you crazy? Me, like you. I have a home and a family too. You're just a speck that runs around. No one would care if my foot came down. Ooh, is that true? I don't think that's true. Aunt. Oh, big friend, you're so wrong. My nest mates need me because I am strong. I dig our nest and feed baby ants too. I must not die beneath your shoe. And there's the ant with his family sitting there eating together, having their snack. Looks like they're having a potato chip. Kid, but mom says that ants are rude. They carry off our picnic food. They steal our chips and breadcrumbs too. It's good to s if I could squish a crook like you. Is he really a crook? Look at, here he is all dressed up with a cape and a flashlight as if he's really stealing a piece of bread. Ant, hey, I'm not a crook kid, read my lips. Sometimes ants need crumbs and chips. One little chip can feed my town. So please don't make your shoe come down. That's so true, look at that. One little chip being carried off by six little ants. Kid, but all my friends squish ants each day. Squishing ants is a game we play. They're looking at me, they're listening too. They all say I should squish you. <gasps> Kids. Wow. Kids are all in agreement. Just squish the ant. This one's saying, stop. Well, ant is standing up tall. 
An ant says, I can see you're big and strong. Decide for yourself what's right and wrong. If you were me and I were you, what would you want me to do? Hmm, that's a very good question, isn't it? If you were the boy, what should you do? If you were the ant, what would you think you would like the boy to do? Should the ant get squished? Should the ant go free? Good, great questions. It's up to the kid, not up to me. We'll leave the kid with the raised up shoe. What do you think that kid should do? There's the shoe above the ant. Still up high. So the question is, what do you think? What do you think? Okay. I have a feeling that you all know what I think. Because when we're outside playing, I love when everyone brings me bugs to show me the ants, to show me the worms. And what do I say? I always say, hey, investigate it but put him right back in his home, right? So, the end. That is the end of our story. I hope you liked it.